Alright, good job! That's the way! You've improved! That's the way! You've improved! The enemy is down! Now's your chance! I've been waiting for this! Okay, now! The battle's over! No shadows are left! What 
an easy win! Multiple weaknesses. Let's go. Amazing, Senpai. I couldn't finish it off. Obey my command. I failed to finish it off. against darkness. You two enemies left. Finish it off. That's the last one. No shadows are left. Defeat it! Oh. 
It's like we're in an episode of Lifestyles of the Rich and Fabulous. Welcome back, milady. And you must be her schoolmates, correct? Welcome to the Kirijo Vacation Home. Please follow me. Um, is this the right place? Dude, real life maids. I knew she was from an important family, but this definitely confirms it. It's good to see you. Was that... her father? Dude, talk about scary. He's not gonna make us walk the plank, is he? Don't be stupid. <laughs> we won't be here long, but make yourself at home. Sweet, this is gonna rock. Hey, you wanna go to the beach? It's right there. Dude, this place rules. Come on, let's go. What, already? I mean, sure, but let me get changed first. Then I'll see you there. I'm not gonna waste a single minute. Sandals on, giving my feet a chance to breathe. Yep, summer's here. Darn, there's nothing out there I can use as a marker. Too bad. I was hoping for a good swim. You must be joking. We come all the way to the beach and you're gonna train? What's wrong with that? You got a better idea? Damn right I do. It's summertime at the beach. I've got the perfect activity. What? Say hello to contestant number one, Yukari Takaba. As you can see, she's chosen a bold design, quite unexpected. It takes a lot of confidence to pull off a swimsuit like that. Is that umbrella taken? Next up is contestant number two, Fuka Yamagishi. Wow, Fuka. I had no idea you were so... I mean, you should wear a swimsuit more often. Huh? Oh! Oh, come on. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Creepy laugh, you curve. And here's our final contestant. Hmm? Is something wrong? Wow! Mitsura Senpai, you're beautiful. Yeah, your skin is flawless. Did you already put on sunscreen? No, not yet. So, which one's your type? Aha! Just as I thought. Man, this is great. I'm in heven. How about a swim? Ba 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 ba!
been a while. I'm glad that you're in good health. Our guests are residents of the dorm, I presume. I'm sorry for bringing such a crowd. I heard you told them about the incident. Why did you hide it so long? I wasn't hiding it. I've told you time and again. None of the blame is yours. But... Two in harmony surpasses one in perfection. That has been our guiding principle since the Corrigio family separated from the Nanjo group. You must learn to trust in others, Mitsuru. There are things in this world that cannot be accomplished alone, no matter how many sacrifices you make. Yes, Father. You accessed our database, didn't you? That's another thing. Why didn't you ask me directly instead of using this trip as an excuse? I'm... I'm sorry. Bring them here. All of them. I had no intention of concealing the truth from them. I've made preparations to disclose everything. There's a girl named Takaba in your group, correct? For her to awaken to her power, it must be fate. Father? From what I understand, Mitsuru has already given you the short version. Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Now, I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power was a time manipulation device. That's what he was trying to do? Imagine, if you could control the flow of time, eliminate unwanted events before they occur. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. Damn, that's insane. However, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. Now that I think about it, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. It's only natural that you want to know the truth. And it's my duty to tell you. What's this? This is the only existing footage of the accident. Recorded by a scientist who was at the scene. I pray that this recording reaches safe hands. That voice! My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. And this experiment should have never even been conceived. I'm afraid what I've done will result in an unprecedented disaster. But if I hadn't... The entire world may have paid the price. The entire world? Please, listen carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. To end this nightmare, you must eliminate all of them. I am to blame for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. So I didn't raise any objections. It is all my fault. Huh? Dad? You mean... that was... Father. His name was Eiichiro Takaba. He was the head researcher at the time. A very talented man, but we are the ones who are responsible. 
we pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. I... I can't believe it. So, that means my dad caused it all? The Dark Hour, Tartarus, the people who died in that incident? It was all his fault? Uh, you okay? So that's why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? No, Takiba, I... I don't want your pity! Um, shouldn't someone go after her? <sighs> Will you go? Thank you. I believed in him for so long. Oh, this is too much. Remember what I told you at the hospital? How my dad died when I was little? You understand now, right? He died in that incident. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. We even had to move a few times. But all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot, and I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in the spring. It was from him, written ten years ago. It cracked me up, because even though it said to my family, it was pretty much all about me. That only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared, but I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. But it turns out, all of that was for nothing. You're just trying to make me feel better. Why does reality have to be so harsh? I tried so hard to fight my fear, and this is what I get. Maybe I'm just jealous of Mitsuru Senpai. I mean, why my father and not hers? <laughs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I? Well, you're just Mr. Perfect. Nothing ever phases you. And now you've got the nerve to try and tell me how to feel? You think you know me? You don't know anything! I'm sorry. My head's a mess. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do anymore. Totally lost. Tell me, what should I do? Huh? You know, you really are one of a kind. Oh, I'm sorry for acting like this. You've lost your parents too. But... I'm alright now. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. 
Anyway, thanks for listening. Let me guess. Senpai asked you to bring me back, right? <laughs> I knew it. But still. Thanks. Uh, this is kind of awkward, isn't it? Hey! <sighs> Yeesh! What's taking you so long? Everybody's waiting. It's almost the dark hour, so you should get back. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. Hmm? Um... Did I miss something? I almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Well, duh. You know, I've been thinking lately. Once you awaken to the power of Persona, you remember everything that happens during the dark hour. It's like trading away your innocence. In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. So, I guess I'm stuck with you guys, huh? Yep. <laughs> now that that's settled, let's get back. 